yards, touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Panthers have taken the lead. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score Panthers 14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. How many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here of what could be their final drive. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Breeze to throw. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 41-yard line. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Kamara try the right side. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They'll look to throw. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Now Kamara. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the 4. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Second and goal from inside the five. Kamara trying again. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. Lots of look to add the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Greer. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 
Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Set 70, Indy. Stick. Now Greer. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Greer now to throw. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Now here's a timeout, as they will indeed call it with five seconds to go and a chance with a field goal to win the game. And his kick here is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. I guess we can call that a welcome to the NFL moment right there. And he came in with open arms and knocked it through. Yeah, how about that? It's almost surely a game winner, right? And you know, rookie kickers, usually the leash is kind of short, isn't it? I think they went ahead and got that extended model for him now after making that kick. Ready? Getting set for their Ready? next drive, the New Orleans offense. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. Think back to 2015. Didn't we see Green Bay pull that off yep, twice absolutely. in the season? Once in the regular season, once in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened. It'll be interesting to see what the defensive strategy is about who they put on the field to try and knock that ball away. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Till next time, we...